Scientists have discovered tiny particles of plastic in bottled drinking water. Research commissioned by journalists at Orb Media studied more than 250 bottles of water from 11 of the world's leading brands. Some bottles had no particles, but others tested had hundreds or even thousands of particles, some the width of a human hair. Food safety experts say the levels of plastic found does not make the water unsafe to drink, but they are calling for more research into the effects of microplastic on the human body, as David Shookman reports. They're among some of the most popular brands of water in the world. Millions are sold every day. But new research has made a surprising discovery that many of the bottles contain tiny particles of plastic. Under certain wavelengths of light, it causes them to sparkle like stars in the night sky. In the largest study of its kind, bottles of water were bought in different countries around the world. China, India, Brazil and many others. The project was coordinated by journalists at Orb Media, and they recorded each step of the process from the shops to the courier companies as the bottles were sent to a laboratory in New York State. Professor Cherie Mason is a chemist specialising in plastic, and she tested more than 250 of the bottles. I'm going to take a specific amount of Nile Red dye. The dye Nile Red has a proven ability to stick to pieces of plastic. It was first used to detect plastic in seawater. So when the bottles were emptied through a filter, what was left was a mass of tiny particles. The next stage was then to analyse them under a microscope. The dye makes anything plastic fluoresce under a particular kind of light. So the particles could be counted, and some were then examined to see what they were made of. The typical microplastics that we're finding in the bottled water, um, at the lower end of the screen you see a fibre. Um, this what looks like a little hair, just there. Correct. Yeah. We see it in, in bottle after bottle, and we see it in brand after brand. Um, and, and part of that, too, is it's not about pointing fingers at particular brands. It's really showing that this is everywhere. So what exactly was found? A small minority of bottles had no plastic particles at all. But in this video, recorded with a special light and an orange lens, you can actually see pieces of plastic. And this close-up image of a filter shows hundreds of particles. It looks like a picture of the stars. And a technique developed for astronomy had to be used to count every dot. The biggest particles, larger than the width of a human hair, were confirmed as plastic, and there was an average of 10 of them per litre. Smaller particles were also found, an average of 314 per litre. These weren't positively identified, but were probably plastic. At the moment, there are no rules covering these microplastics or any agreed way of checking for them. What's striking is how widespread this problem is. The researchers studied bottles from nine different countries, 11 different brands, and in almost all of them, they found plastic floating around inside. And when they looked more closely, they found that the type of plastic is often what's used to make the cap. So the theory is that the very act of opening a bottle Maybe what pollutes it? We approached all the companies involved. A few didn't reply. Those that did said they maintained the higher standards of safety. Nestle told us, to date, we have not found microplastic compounds beyond a trace level in our products. And it said the study misses some crucial steps to avoid false positives, detecting something other than plastic. Danone, which owns Evian, said it wouldn't comment on the study because the testing methodology is unclear. And it pointed out that for microplastics, there's no regulatory framework or scientific consensus on testing for them. Gerald Steiner said its own tests found microplastics significantly below the limits for particles set for pharmaceutical companies. And Coca-Cola, which makes Dasani, said that microplastics seem to be everywhere and therefore may be found at minute levels even in highly treated products. Plastic is turning up in unexpected places. Last year, this lab found it in samples of tap water. So what does this mean for our health? Right now, there's no hard evidence that drinking or eating plastic particles can cause any harm. But that isn't out of the question. But some of these particles are so incredibly small that they can actually make their way across the gastrointestinal tract, across the lining, and be carried throughout the body. And we don't know the implications of what that means on our various organs and tissues. 
And if there's plastic in bottled water, where else might it be? We turn to one of the British scientists to help to develop the Nile Red technique for detecting plastic. This study is maybe just the start. When we start looking more carefully, we will very likely find it in food, in packaging, in milk, in, in any other place we look, because I don't think mineral water is unique in that sense. Despite this, the message from the scientist is clear. If your tap water is dirty, bottled water is far safer. But the world of microplastics is new and full of uncertainty, which makes research into it all the more urgent. David Shukman, BBC News in New York State.